life is full of illusions sometimes for the immediate good sometimes for the immediate bad and sometimes we don't know what they will bring in the future and we might not actually see them for what they are throughout their existence or throughout our existence but that is the whole point isn't it ashish gupta's new book the illusionist encapsulates all of this in multiple contexts uh, be it uh, family society politics or love watch out to find out what this book is about and what more you can expect from this book Hello people this is Sonali the melodramatic bookworm if you've been here before welcome back and if you're new to my channel welcome to the melodramatic bookworm family i'm here today with another book review and in this video i will be talking about ashish gupta's the illusionist i had read the author's one of the author's previous works demons in my mind and i really liked the way he portrayed mental health through metaphors and the illusionist is yet another of the author's experiments to delve into the depths of the mind uh, through exploring and dissecting illusions as we understand them or at least as we try to understand them for most part it's a hugely interesting premise uh, that centers and focuses on the relationship between two brothers who are both illusionists while keeping much larger context in mind but before we delve more into what the plot is about and the like let me just tell you uh, read to you an excerpt from the book an illusionist is a person who plays with your attention takes it where it isn't supposed to be an illusion doesn't always have to be deception mostly it's about telling people what they perceive depends on how much they know it is in the chasm between perception and knowledge where the illusion occurs it's in this very chasm where the truth lies now that we have an idea a little idea at least about what uh, illusions and uh, illusionists are let me tell you what the story is all about mahirastan a democratic islamic state that was formed from another islamic state has two warring leaders azim and azlan who are both sons they are brothers and both sons of the man to whom mahirastan owes its existence but now years later the opposing sides are now at complete loggerheads they their ideologies do not match they have completely opposing ideologies both of them have all, an almost equal footing with an almost equal number of people supporting either ideology and uh, now that the elections are upcoming uh, they are pitted against each other they are going to stand against each other in this election but because of the ferocity with which the their followers uh, follow their ideologies and despise the other ideology irrespective of who is set to win people are set to riot and a lot of violence and bloodshed is about to take place there is a solution to this but this is something that only azim and azlan can solve so since the fate of the nation hangs in the balance so to decide that particular fate they meet each other alone with the goal of forcing the other person to shoot himself so what exactly happens when the brothers meet when they unravel the past when they unmask each other's actions when they work through all the illusions that the other has placed over however many years and when they realize what's happening this forms the entire story The main thing that I absolutely love about this book is the sheer poetry that the author has going in a lot of places. Uh, the author is talented and that's a given because uh, I have prior experience with reading uh, his work, but uh, to see him writing about uh, issues and ideologies, people's lives and politics and the fine line between morals and the line between right and wrong and how thin it can get, it is all it all is completely beautifully hypnotic but you know what as against the illusions that the brothers are casting in the book or have casted in the book this one is not an illusion the author's writing is real and is beautiful the author combines family and politics while talking about family politics and shows us how people from the same family can be different and disconnected but then again is this difference is this disconnect really all an illusion do these differences and uh, the disconnect that uh, we think there are seem so much more pronounced just because we are so subconsciously att attuned to each other and are the are these differences the actual illusions or are they the cover for the actual illusions that are taking place in the background i mean we may not get 
answers to these questions but as the author asks them in the book throughout the course of whatever is happening between the two brothers it makes us think as well politics can be a complicated web but more often than not uh, people who follow one ideology who are of one ideology can end up completely ignoring one section of society and in this book in the illusionist the author explores and talks about the lack of representation for the working class and in a strong in your face manner which will leave you a little taken aback but it will also drill some truths into your mind the whole concept is about illusions and the author throughout this whole book he uses metaphors to talk about the points in hand and i think using metaphors to talk about illusions is a great way of uh, actually dealing with the topic at hand because metaphors illusions it seems like a great analogy to me and some of these metaphors are pretty grim but either way all of them have some pretty strong truths that they put out in front of you for example when the author is talking about a jam packed prison this is what he says the prison was merely a can of worms be it the current state of the prison about how many people are in there or be it uh, talking about the possibilities of opening the doors to the prison there is meaning in here that hits differently and lastly there's a lot of depth to what the author is talking about be it looking inward be it looking uh, at a humanity as a whole or be it uh, reading about one single person's motivations behind doing certain things uh, it makes for an eye opening read irrespective of whether it fits in the current context or not i loved it and this is what makes this book a well rounded one it feels like to me the author makes many important points about life about illusions and the like but the effect was a little dampened for me because of how it dragged over so many pages it does become a tedious read especially towards the end where uh, you know con snippets from uh, uh, earlier conversations are being repeated and for me personally even though i see the necessity of that repetition i see why the author had to repeat it again in order to give it context i just feel like it became too dragged out for me personally to have that intended impact like at least in magnitude this back and forth between timelines and perspectives i really don't mind i actually quite like it because it can make a storyline really intriguing and it can make it very crisp but uh, in this particular book it sort of melts into one another and not in a seamless manner it gets confusing in a lot of places and it takes a lot of effort to get to the point that the author is making by which time the effect sort of pales a little this particular effort that is being made to put into it it's not necessarily bad it completely depends on the person who is reading the book it from person to person and how they like it While I might have a couple of complaints with the illusionists overall I do think that this is a bold attempt by the author in exploring ideologies and the human thought process and their motivations and the like and I think Ashish Gupta has succeeded he has done a great job in playing around with the psychology of the reader while exploring and experimenting with the psychologies of the characters involved in this book this book is by no means an easy read especially when the depth of certain sections will make you pause and think and keep the cogs of your brain turning but it is exactly this that gives this book weight and makes it a beautifully interesting one and i re really think that if you want such a book if you want a book that is that is going to make your mind churn then this is a book that you should definitely pick up and definitely read just try to read it slowly and digest it slowly as you go and that way you will enjoy it more so that was my review of the illusionist by ashish gupta what did you think of this video did you like it did you like what the book is about are you going to go ahead and buy this book and are you going to uh read it and what are you currently reading and what do you think of this video as a whole and what did you think of my review let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you also if you'd like to buy this book i leave the amazon link in the description box below so don't forget to go check it out if you like this video please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when i post new videos Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.